I have a chain five and now we're going to half double crochet, similar to the double crochet, but a little shorter. I, we have one, two, three, four, five chains right here. We're going to chain one, that's for creating our new row. Every time we create a new row, we're going to chain one. Now this is a little bit like a double crochet. We're going to yarn over before we go through the stitch. We're going to be skipping that chain one, and we're going to be going into that second stitch right here. We're going to go through that stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through. We now have three loops on our hook. What we're going to do is yarn over, and you're going to pull through all three. And that is a half double crochet. Shorter than a double crochet, but I'd consider it thicker than a single crochet. Definitely good for coverage. To do it, yarn over, go through your next stitch, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Now in our fourth stitch, now into our fifth stitch. And this is how we're going to create a new row. We have our five half double crochets right here. We're going to chain one, turn the project. Now we're gonna be working back along the back of the stitches. You can see through the top right here, the V's, you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Five may be hard to find, but just go searching and make sure you're always recounting back on your stitches. We're gonna yarn over, go through the first stitch, pull through, you got three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Make sure you go searching for that last stitch. And pull through the last one. Now we've got five, or I've got five half double crochets along with my first row from my foundation chain. So we got a total of five. And this is what the half double crochet looks like.